Hello and welcome to another update video about ETH. Really just a quick end of the day update. Um, while Bitcoin was just um, chilling out today, basically, Ether actually made a new high and we can call that wave three their complete wave five of three. So that's going to be extremely interesting now because Ether is pushing ahead while Bitcoin um, is just not at the moment right now. So as already said in the last video, that, that's pretty good because the Ether chart showed basically ideally um, another two highs. So we've made one of them, yeah. Whereas the Bitcoin chart only showed one more high. So Ether has in a sense caught up now to a degree. There's currently no sign of a top in place. As soon as I have that, I think we can, we can fix that support area there on the right hand side at the moment. Um, I have added support already for this larger degree wave four, which the price should do shortly and, and you know start shortly. But as I said, at the moment, there is no sign of a top in place in that wave three there. So, or in wave five of three. So there's no confirmation it has topped. It has simply reacted to the 38.2 um, Fibonacci extension level, which is a key extension level for wave five. So the next one would be 1976. So if it continues to push, 1976 might be the next one to, to watch for and pay attention to any pullback because it could be this larger degree wave four. Expect it to go into the region, I would say between yeah 1720 and 1760, that would be ideal. I think 1815 would be a bit shallow, but we cannot rule out that it's just doing a shallow wave four. But as you can see here, ETH likes to go to the 38.2 FIB level in a wave four, and that would be 1760. Can go a little lower maybe. Uh, bear in mind that at 1755 we still have strong structural support. It's the previous swing low and swing high, uh, the breakout point on the 23rd of October, and then we touch this level a few times again. So I mean this level sits perfectly in this right hand side support area there. Okay, so pay attention to it. It's it's very close to the 38.2 retracement. Now again, that might change, you know, if the price here extends further in wave five of three, which it absolutely can do, it only really fulfilled the minimum. It only fulfilled the minimum expectations of wave five of three. So it can easily push higher. If it's doing that, I would pay attention to the 61.8 level at 1976. And then also this larger degree fourth wave would move a little higher um, or support would move a little higher, okay? Uh, but again, it doesn't matter how you how you draw it really. Then, for example, here this green line is um, overlapping with a fifty percent retracement level. So there is um, quite a bit of an overlap there of different support levels, which is good to see. It's also not going too fast, so we see a slow increase. And yeah, it actually made a new high today where Bitcoin didn't. And I think the parameters for next week are here: nineteen o two, nineteen seventy six. And then as support, 1815, 1763, 1721, and 1679. We also should pay attention to relevant levels on the daily time frame. So just to remind you, if we go back to ETH um, daily. If we go back to ETH daily and on the daily chart, we can see that ETH is still trying to break out of this channel. I think then it could go quite quickly um, to the upside and the uptrend could escalate a bit. We would then look at structural resistance at 2035 and also at 2150. And that would be a new high if it gets above that level. It would actually be a new 2023 high. There isn't much more to add at the moment. Really slow pri price action about e uh, you know, around ETH at the moment. Um, but actually a little bit more exciting than, than Bitcoin today. We will focus on it going forward. And of course, you know, a break of that uh, price channel to the upside would be potentially quite interesting and meaningful. So yeah, I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.